whenever you are finding the time and your minute hand is in this last quarter of the clock, it's very difficult. You need to make sure you're very, very careful there because it's going to look like our hour hand is on the next number, but it really isn't. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out my minutes and I count by fives on the big numbers. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then I count ones on the, on the little tally, so 56. So my minutes is 56. Now it looks like my hour hand is on the seven, but it did not yet make it to the seven because my hour hand will not make it to the next number until my minute hand makes it to the 12. Once my minute hand makes it to the 12, then it's seven o'clock. Right now it's still six, 656, and the hour hand just looks like it's on the seven because it's really, really, really close to seven o'clock. 656, it's really close to seven o'clock. We'll show you how that looks. So when my minute hand is on the 12 and it is going backwards, when my minute hand's on the 12 and it's six o'clock, when I travel around up to the 56th minute, you can see my hour hand is really, really close to the seven, but it's not seven o'clock yet because my hour hand did not yet make one trip around the clock to make it seven o'clock. 